Hi, this is Ashok. Uh, in this uh, session, I will explain about what is a figure and uh, some of the examples on figures. Okay. Look here, apex triggers. Apex triggers. Okay. First of all, what is a trigger? A trigger is nothing but a apex code. Look here, a trigger nothing but a apex code. It can run automatically. Means it can run automatically whenever trigger event can occur. It is also one of the business process. Okay, automation process. It is, it is also one of the automation process. Uh, it can perform automatically whenever trigger event can occur. What are the trigger event here? Look here. Trigger event nothing but a daemon operations. Trigger event nothing but a daemon operations. Look here. What are the triggering events are there? First of all, we know about what are the daemon operations. Look here. DML operation means insert, update, delete, offset and undelete. These are the DML operations. Whenever these operations can perform on any object, the corresponding trigger automatically runs. Automatically. Okay. Okay. Let's here uh, we can check. Okay. First of all, we can uh, we know about how many types of triggers how many types of triggers in here what are the types of triggers there are two types of triggers first one is before triggers and after triggers before triggers and after triggers what is before and what is after okay, what is before what is after it means if you write any trigger program using before trigger using before operation before uh, operate before word it can perform uh, the DML operation it can check uh, the DM before the DML operation okay after trigger means it can uh, it can uh, it can be processed automatically after that action can perform okay before trigger always perform before the action can perform it means uh, uh, we will, we will see in example okay there are two types of triggers first one before triggers and after triggers basically this before trigger can be used for validation purpose basically this trigger is used for validation purpose for validations okay and after trigger can be used to perform some other actions other actions other actions after trigger will not perform any validations you can remain after trigger will not perform any operations okay you can check <coughs> look here what are the operations what are the actions uh, in such okay in such is one of the DNA operation in insert in insertion now uh, we can check these two types what is before insert and after insert before insert is used to check the validations if the validation is true the insertion uh, operation automatically success okay insertion operation will automatically success okay you know every dml operation have two types of Triggers. What is that uh, before insert and after insert and also update also before update and after update and delete also have before delete after delete and undelete delete also before and delete and after and delete. Okay. Next. Trigger variables. Next one. Trigger variables. What are the trigger variables? There are two types of trigger variables. First one is trigger dot old and trigger dot new. Trigger dot old and trigger dot new trigger dot old is nothing but a, a collection of values before the action can, can perform action nothing but a insert operation or delete operation or update operation or undelete op undelete operation okay any one of the operation before the values can be stored inside this trigger dot old 
What about trigger dot new? It is also collection of values. It can store after that action. After that specific action can perform. Okay. After the action, the values are stored inside uh, stored inside trigger dot new. Before that action, the values are stored inside the trigger dot new. Here we will check one simple example. I want to check simple simple example. Look here. Local console. Okay. What is my scenario? Here I am checking insert. Insert. Okay. <coughs> insert. Okay. In this insert, uh, uh, there is a scenario on account. On account. Object whenever insertion is performed in an uh, account object, uh, the given name is already exists, which shows an error message. Otherwise. Insertion, insertion, mm. successfully. Okay, first I want to check. Okay, there is a condition here. I am checking one validation. If the name is, that is, the given name is already inside account object it will show an error here I already wrote it trigger so I am opening the trigger look here for example if you want to open any trigger if you want to write any uh, trigger Go to the upper console and uh, click on new. Okay, file. Click on new and uh, <coughs> click on apex trigger. It will open say window like this. In this view, you give uh, trigger name. For example, uh, duplicate account phone trigger. Duplicate account phone trigger. You can select object name. You can select object name. Okay, this trigger will apply to which object? You can select that and click on submit button. Here I already wrote one trigger. What is uh, prevent duplicate accounts? Okay, prevent duplicate accounts. Prevent duplicate accounts. Look here. Trigger. Trigger name on account okay trigger trigger name on account this trigger we can perform before insert it will check before trigger I'm sorry before insert okay okay look here if trigger dot is insert and trigger dot is before it will check always before insert before insert so here i wrote one uh, to trigger context variables what is that trigger dot is insert if it is true and uh, trigger dot is before if it is true here these both conditions are uh, joined with the and operator it means if the both conditions are true then the simply give a simple statement inside this simple statement will exist otherwise it will not exist this code will always fire whenever the inserter insertion operation and before insertion. Whenever you can insert a record, always it will fire before that insertion operation. Okay, in this I am writing the clear code for accounts. For account, yes, it is a variable created for account objects 
Next, trigger dot no, trigger dot no. You know, this trigger dot no is a values. Okay, collection of values. Uh, after that, uh, what about the order? What I do look here? So look here. No. What are the values provided here? Okay, in this form, what are the values provided in this form? But values are stored inside this trigger dot new. Okay, trigger dot new. These are the values that can hold. What are the values you can do before the action? Okay, so that values are stored in this AC object. Sorry, AC object. Okay. You can check here. Look here, integer count is called to select a count. Select a count from account where name equal to AC dot name. It will check. It will check the given where given name. Look here, what are the name given here? This given name uh, can be checked inside. Look here. Accounts. These account names. If the account name is already exists in this account name, uh, this function returns. Look here. This function returns some of the integer value that value are stored inside this form variable. If any one of the uh, name already exists inside the account object, it will return uh, other than zero. If no name no name uh, is it is in uh, account object it will return set zero if zero means no name exists okay zero means no name exists inside account object so here i am checking after this uh, operation account operation can hold something if uh, other than zero if other than zero Okay, so the name already exists inside account object. The statement return any integer value. If no name is not inside account object, account becomes zero. So here count greater than zero. If count greater than zero, okay, it will show an error duplicate account count. The count equal to zero it will not execute right because it is a simple statement okay in this also in this uh, other uh, validation also I check here it checks checks the duplicate account using this statement and after the statement here I'm validating Okay, next. Another statement also, uh, other validation also wrote here. If AC dot form, okay, AC dot form equal to null space or AC dot form equal to null. Using this, we can uh, make the form field as mandatory. Using this, we can make phone field as mandatory. If you do not uh, uh, do not enter any value into phone field, you will not uh, make any insert operation. Okay. Uh, okay. Save this code. Okay. Successfully save. I will check here whether uh, the uh, trigger is working or not. I found the look here HDFC bank is already there. HDFC BAMC already exists a name. I entered here. Look here, phone number something 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now on to perform save operation. Or here to duplicate account for phone. What are the error code here? 
Or that error code will appear on that record key. Okay, duplicate account. Otherwise, the account name is look here. The word the account name is already. Exist. The account name is already exists. Okay. I change this code. Look here. Again, I want to perform this operation. Load this one. Now the error message will change. look here. The account name is already exists. What are the error code load inside this account dot error? Look here, what is here? AC is a account object and add error. Add error is a method. It is a method. Using this method, we can display error messages on the screen. Okay. okay. Here, first condition. So here I am writing A, B, C, that we are not inside uh, in our uh, uh, account object. But here, I will not provide any value in this form field. Okay, it is not a mandatory field. Okay, it is not a mandatory field. But in our figure, we can make that field as mandatory. If you not provided any uh, value in, uh, on the form field, it will not accept. Look here, I want to save this. Look here, must give phone number. It is not a here uh, not showing any star field. Why? Because look here, it is a star. It, it shows a star. It means it is a mandatory field. But to phone number is a non mandatory field. Okay, we can now uh, make this as a mandatory field using figure also. Using figure also. Look here, if you give any number. One, two, three, four, five. Now, a count is created successfully. It checks. Okay. These validations are checked before the insertion. Look here. What are the code? You can go out here. Before insert. Okay. Before insert. Here, we wrote some code for before insert on account of this. Okay, here we wrote two conditions. First one is what are the uh, what is that? If the name is already exist inside in our object, it will show an error message. And second one is we are making the uh, phone field as mandatory. Suppose if you want to make let's see how it is. Yeah. Okay, I call me ready. Okay, if you want to make any other one as mandatory field, phone number, if you want to make facts also. Okay, mandatory, which field you want to make mandatory field? The number of employees you want to make. Mandatory uh, employee field as mandatory field. It will not give any value into this employee. It will not. It will not perform insert operation. So if you want to write employees, so look here. You can <coughs> making number of employees. As mandatory field, if AC dot the number of employees, look here, number of employees, okay, equal, equal to same and AC dot. Number of employees 
equal equal to null. <coughs> what are the error? So what here? Let me not go in that case. Okay. Compare now must be compare test integer. Again to zero. Then the sun is enough. Null, 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 null. Okay. Okay. So we see dot at error. What is the error code we want to write here? Enter. Number of employees. And save. Enter. Number of employees and save. Okay. Here, how many uh, validations wrote here? First one is name. Duplicate name and second one is making the phone field as mandatory and the third one number of employees also making as mandatory. Now XYZ bank XYZ bank. Look here. Number of employees most. Look here number of employees. How many number of employees? I think 124 employees are there. Save. Again, must not give four number. Look here, how many mandatory fields are there? Four number. One, two, three, four, five. No, it, it says successful. Okay, I think all have understood. Uh, okay, you understood my session. Thank you.